Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be checking out this little echo effect, and I've seen this done quite a bit on Instagram with still pictures, but I haven't really seen it done much with videos. So it's a fairly simple technique, and I'm gonna show you two different variations. The first variation will allow the object to continue in motion behind the lead object, and the next variation will basically freeze the object in its place. I will also be showing you how to apply this to moving video clips, However, that technique is a little more complex, so stick around towards the end. The first clip that we're gonna be working with is this one right here. And this effect is actually fairly simple to use. So we're gonna be using this clip right here, and all you have to do is go to the Effects tab and type in Echo. Drag the Echo effect onto your clip that you're gonna be working with. First things first, we have to understand what the echo effect does. If you look down through here, we can echo something by a certain time, and then we can add a number of echoes. So if we change the number of echoes to around five, you'll see that it got brighter. And this is because our echo operator is on add. All we have to do is change our echo operator to some of these maximum or minimum values or screen. You just kind of have to play around. But I found that minimum works best for a bright scene like this. And if you go to maximum, it'll basically do the opposite. So keep playing around with these, see what works best for you. Minimum works best for me. So if we scrub through here, you can start to see that is actually echoing our object that is moving. Now it should be known that this effect works best with a still shot, as you can see right here. There is nothing moving. This is done on a tripod. But like I said in the beginning, I'll show you how to do it on a moving clip later. Let's understand how this echo effect works. Basically, the echo time will change how far the echo is. If we do negative 0.5, our video will basically echo negative 0.5 seconds behind the lead. Now, to understand this even further, if you go 0.5, that will echo it in front of the video. For this example, let's do negative 0.4. Scrubbing through this, you can kind of see that we have an effective echo already happening. So let's understand a little bit more about what starting intensity and decay do. Starting intensity will adjust how intense the first lead echo is. I've always kept that at one for the best effects. Now, decay is actually kind of cool. You can play around with this. So if I start lowering this to the left, you'll see that our trail guys are starting to fade out. But 0.7 actually adds a nice little fade from here. The lead guy is in full brightness and intensity and the trail guys slowly fade out. Now, if you don't like that, just keep that at one and that'll fix it so it's like so. Now I'm gonna show you the other version which takes a little bit more manual labor. So for this version, we want to freeze our object in a certain position. So for example, I wanna freeze this guy right here and have the video keep going on. So all we have to do is hit C on our keyboard to bring up the cut tool, click on our video layer where we wanna cut it, and then all we have to do is click V to grab the selection tool, click on our video after the cut, hold Alt on our keyboard and duplicate that layer up. All we have to do is drag it up. Or you can hit Control C and then Control V to paste it above the clip. Click on our second video layer and all we have to do is right click and go to Add Frame Hold. This will pretty much freeze that clip so it doesn't move. So for example, it looks like this now. Now that our top video layer or now picture is selected, all we have to do is go over to the Effects Controls tab. Let's click on the Free Draw Bezier. Once we click on Free Draw Bezier, we can go over here and start to draw around our object and mask him out, basically. So we click and draw these lines. The closer you get to your object, the better. Sometimes you're going to want to get in really close, so all we have to do is click this Fit button down here and change it to around 200% or whatever your needs are. And all we're going to do is click and drag around our object and mask him out. Since we are using this as our lead edge, you want this to be as close to the object as possible. If you click outside this edge and drag, it will rotate your mask. So you don't want to do that. So let's just keep going on here. And for this part, I'm going to fast forward. Awesome. So once you complete the mask, you will see that it instantly takes it out of the video. What I like to do with these masks, I like to keep the mask feather a little bit lower, maybe around 5%, click on the 200% zoom level and change it back to fit. Now if we play back through this from the beginning, you'll see that our character actually freezes right here. 
Now it's also cool to see the video layer from behind moving out because as you can see our mask is not perfect and that was just because I was going through it really fast. So whenever you guys are creating your mask you can always come in here and click on the mask layer on your video and adjust these edges even a little bit more. You can even add some more so that you don't get any of this blue haze that is happening from our sky. So keep playing around with that and you'll get an effective mask. So now that you understand how to do the first one, I'll show you how to start the second one and you can basically do this on your own. So say we wanted to do the second one right here, you would select your bottom video layer since that is not frozen like our top video layer. Select that bottom video layer and hit C on the keyboard, make a cut, and then select the second half of that bottom video layer, hold Alt on our keyboard and drag that above to the very top. We're kind of creating a stair step effect. Now right click on that top video layer and click on add frame hold. Freeze that entire area and just like before, click on the free draw bezier under opacity and start drawing around your figure. For the sake of time, I'm not actually gonna do this. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to theoretically do it. Once you create that mask and it's all nice and perfect, you'll see that our video layer will continue on. Notice how I didn't make that mask perfect so it doesn't look that great, but you guys will make yours perfect. So that's pretty much how you do the frozen mask effect to get it to look like this. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Jumping on to our final one, we are working with this video from GoPro and it's basically a moving image. Now, if you apply the echo effect onto a moving image, it will theoretically echo everything. So when we apply four echoes, you can kind of see that it is echoing everything. So everything is being multiplied four times, including the background, the scenery. So how I did this effect was fairly simple. Deleted my echo effect and I chose a point that I wanted this effect to come in full swing which was right when the jump happened so I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard to make a cut and then I'm gonna scrub all the way to the end till he lands right there and I'm gonna hit C again so now I have just this center clip to work with I'm gonna click on the effects tab and type in echo and drag echo onto that center clip so now we're gonna change the echo operator to minimum and we're gonna start playing with this. So how I did my effect is I made it more prominent or more echoey, I guess you could say, towards the middle of the effect. So we're gonna increase the number of echoes to around four. And now we're gonna make the echo time around negative 0.3. So negative 0.3 I think looks pretty decent for this effect. It brings it out right here. But the cool thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna actually keyframe this. So now that we're in the middle, we're gonna click on the keyframe to the echo time, and then we're gonna scrub to the very beginning where we leave the jump, and we're gonna change this to zero. So what this will do is if we scrub through it, it'll start to apply this echo effect in an increasing value as we are going along. And then you guessed it, as we get towards the end and we're landing, we're actually going to change the echo value to zero again. So we can simply click on this reset parameter button and drag this to the end. So that way when we start scrubbing through here, our echo will slowly start to decrease until it's nothing no more. We have to mask out just this area so that our snowboard guy is the only thing getting affected. So all you have to do is click on either a ellipse mask, whatever you want, you can draw your own mask on the echo effect and drag this around our snowboard guy. So it works best if you can get it as close as possible so that none of the background is being affected. I also like to play around with the mask feather for this one. I'll increase it to around 150 just so it blends a little more seamlessly. And now that we're towards the middle, we're simply gonna click on the mask path toggle animation to essentially keyframe our mask path. If you don't see your mask edges, you'd simply have to click on the mask button and it'll bring that up again. So we're gonna scroll back a little bit and then see where our video goes and adjust our mask accordingly. We're gonna scroll back a little bit further, uh, adjust our mask, that looks good like that. And we're gonna scroll back to the beginning, adjust our mask again. 
So let's go a little bit beyond where we had our mask towards the end and keep adjusting our mask accordingly. Now I'm just doing a circular mask to save time. However, you guys can create custom masks to make this more effective to your desired preference. So that looks good. I kind of like how at the end, how it's gonna fade out and just drop into nothing. So let's render this sequence and see what we have. Right at the end, you kind of saw that it just kind of dropped away. So what we're going to do is actually fade this in a little more seamless. So we're actually going to click on our last video, drag to the right, and drag our middle video to the right even more because this video has that echo effect applied. We're going to use the rest of this space to simply change the mask opacity from 100 all the way down to zero and we're going to change that zero all the way to the end to fade that out a little more seamlessly so now you can see it's a nice gradual fade well i hope you guys learned something today and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below as always click that thumbs up and subscribe because i'm going to be making some more stuff in the future i'll see you next time